in order to get advertising to work for you and your business, you really have to start with the user. I think that so often people look to promote their business. They go and look for information about how to market their business. And then there's things like, oh, well, you must have a tripwire. You must have a webinar. You must have a lead magnet. You must have a so forth. And, and, and all of it's correct. Don't get me wrong. Like a lot of really good information out there. But I think a lot of marketers tend to get into this mindset of like, well, you haven't done this yet. You haven't done that yet. You haven't, you haven't got the perfect upsell. You haven't got the perfect downsell. All of that is important for sure, but it's got to start with the, with the mindset like, what are my customers doing? What do they want? And how can I serve them in the best way? So they build a relationship with me and then how can I help them in the best way? And of course, at some point that help is going to turn into a, a business transaction. But you've got to start with a user. You've got to start with what are they thinking? What are they going through? And not just play lip service to it, but more cases like really investigate that and play to that. Because if you, I mean, we all see it. Like we all talk about like when we have like amazing customer experience with the business, we all rave about it because it's so rare. <laughs> and that's the mad thing about the whole of like advertising online. It doesn't have to be bespoke every time. It could be automated. But you're just going to start with the mindset of like, how do I genuinely care for my customer first? Start there and then work out how you can fit a webinar around that if that makes sense. Or how can I fit a tripwire products in there if that makes sense. Because as soon as you start with this mindset of like start with the user in mind, start with your customer in mind, then you'll realize that a lot of the marketing strategies, some of them will work for you because you know they're going to fit for your marketing style and some of them just won't fit for you. And that really is like, if you can get that into your mind to begin with, advertising is going to become a lot, lot easier. And so really, that's why I always start with any client campaign I work with. We sometimes have to go back to the drawing board and say, right, well, what is it that we can do here? Because we've got to provide value to the user first. We've got to be really helpful for them first. And then we'll work out what, where that naturally progresses. Because if you're trying to force something, like force a webinar on somebody, when they just don't want it, they're not going to buy. Um, if, you, if someone's looking to uh, quickly fix a quick problem, they're not going to sign up for a webinar that lasts an hour and a half. <laughs> they're just not going to do it <laughs> um, because they just want to quickly fix like a, a slight issue they might have. But you can help them in a much better way. So it's all about starting with the user in mind. And it's going to be a bit of a theme going through the whole process. But let's talk about why these millions or even not billions of people go to YouTube and visit YouTube. And there's four types of moment that people will go through. Um, this is like official numbers from Google here. Um, from left to right, we've got kind of, I want to watch what I'm into. Those people who make up 53% of people that go to YouTube are those people that are going there for inspiration. They follow their favorite person. I know I follow people like Gary Vaynerchuk and Seth Godin and other marketers like that. And I watch videos about stuff that I'm really into and, and really passionate about. And so if you wanted to get in, in front of me because I'm an entrepreneur, because I'm a marketer, et cetera, getting in front of other videos about marketing advice, I'm likely to see your video quite soon because I watch a lot of those types of videos on YouTube. A lot of them aren't very good. So if you did your ad and you got in front of me, chances are um, if you had really good advice, I'd look to find out what you have for me as well. So you have like, I want to watch what I'm into people, a um, bit like the interest targeting you would get on Facebook, for example. And then you have uh, the next three are kind of people that are looking for information. Either I want to know something, I want to do something, or I want to go and buy something. And there's, there's slight differences there. If I want to know something, I'm looking up topics of information. I'm looking up information that's just going to help me kind of like understand more about that topic. I want to do something as people that actually want to go and execute a task on something. They're looking for how-to videos, for example. And then people that want to buy might be looking up review videos, unboxing videos, looking up more information about this versus that, for example. And so we get these different types of moments in everybody. We all go through these different moments on YouTube. We all have these different thought processes. Don't always go to YouTube to begin with, sure. And that doesn't really bother me, to be, to be quite honest because most people do end up at YouTube at some point during that buying cycle. And that's the point at which you should be getting in front of your customers. 